Hello, it's Pete here, chapter two. Chapter two is all about celebrations. And wow, we've got a special celebration in our family. I'll tell you more about it in a second. We're gonna be using some of our favorite, well, my favorite chapter two dies and some of the wonderful, wonderful muted cardstock. Let's get cracking. So let me show you what we're gonna be using today. First and foremost, it's all based around this lovely die set. This is called Bohemian Flowers. It's designed by the wonderful Jen Osborne, and there are 12 dies in the set. Really bold, beautiful, crisp, contemporary shapes. You can build the most fantastic compositions with this die set. And then I am using uh, this stamp set. Now this is Dictionary Definitions, uh, designed by my good self. There are seven different stamps and the words like joy, dream, laugh, creativity, love, beauty and happy and their accompanying dictionary definitions. Now, of course, colour. Let's talk about colour. Let's talk about the muted cardstock. You're probably familiar with our core colour color range. This is muted. Now, let's have a little flick through this. Oh my word, that is absolutely glorious. Some gorgeous colours. A lot of them, they fill the gaps in our current color story range. And don't just think of this set by itself. You know, think of it alongside our other set of color story and indeed our festive range, our botanical range, and so much more besides. Also with the muted, I'm not using this today, but this works perfectly with the muted. This is the muted opulence set. So you've got a selection of glitter cardstock and lovely pearlized cardstock as well. But one of the things that works particularly well with this muted is our opulent cardstock. And we have gold, rose gold, silver. We have, uh, let me think, we've got ivory, we've got charcoal. And today, I'm gonna be using the rose gold now. You can see here, in each opulent, the metallics anyway, in each opulent cardstock set, we've got the brushed metal, we've got the pearl, we've got the glitter, we've got the matte, and we've got the mirror cardstock. So wonderful by themselves, but when you put these together with some of our wonderful colored plain cardstock, and it's anything but plain, it's gorgeous. But when you put them together with that, oh, stunning. Well, we'll see now. Going back to the story, celebrations. What are we celebrating? Well, last Saturday, my son got married to his lovely wife, Azura, and they were married on the tropical isle of St. Lucia. Now, we watched it all over Skype. There was just the two of them. It was a wonderful, wonderful ceremony. Um, and I thought, well, you know what? Let's celebrate their marriage in a card. Because this morning, my wife said, did you make that card for Damon Azura? I said, yeah, of course I did. Of course, I didn't. I completely forgot. Well, I hadn't forgotten it. I, you know, I was just a bit last minute. So what we're going to do, we're going to do it today. We're going to do it on film. Now let's talk about tropicals because what I want to show you is some wonderful tropical color swatches. And this is just using the muted cardstock. So you can see the variety of different tropical blends. That, oh, look at this one. I, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Now let's take another one here with those lovely greens and the dark blues for all your foliage, the pinks for your florals. Now that's five colors. Let's break it down to two colors. So let's bring in some of those as well. Then this one, and you can see with this one, if I move that about, you can see this is the opulent. This is the matte rose gold card. Then, how about that one? Absolutely gorgeous. Then maybe, you know what, we can break it down to three. This one, particular favorite of mine. This one is stunning. This is a stunning combination of colors, just three colors. And that screams contemporary, sort of tropical. And oh, let's finish off with the bride and groom themselves. So these are the folks who are going to be receiving this, I hope it's a lovely card, but they're going to be receiving this lovely card at the end. Now, 
Let's take these away just for a second. So you've seen all the colors and the color palette that I am gonna be using today is this one. So it's those two greens, it's that lovely pink and it's the matte rose gold opulent cardstock. And it's time to break out my lovely switch machine. So that's on, it's ready to go. I shall take my cutting plates and, oh, you know what? Wrong ones. There we have it. Okay, now, let's take some of that lovely card suck. I've cut some swatches. I've actually pre-cut everything, but I wanna run it through. I wanna show you what we're gonna do now. We're gonna using mainly the rose gold and the two greens. The pink is just gonna be there as an accent color. That is gonna be something which comes in just to top it all off. So let, let's put a couple of these, couple of these dies in place. And we'll put the flower there. I think we'll get that leaf there and maybe, maybe we'll get this one going on here. So as I said, there are 12 dies in the set. And of course, the more dies you have, the more combinations that you can achieve in terms of composition. So it's always good to know. There we are, we'll run that through. So just feed it in, the machine does all the work. It's super smooth, really, really quiet. And it's just drawing those through. As it goes through, pops out the other end, little door opens, and there we have it. Now, if you had 3D folders or something like that, if you, if you had a really complex die, you wanted to run these through twice perhaps, there is a switch which reverses that. So let's close that up and take a look at some of these lovely die cuts. So I'll brush those off my cutting mat like so, and pop that to one side with my machine. Now, let's have a look at some of these die cuts. And you can see, you can see here with this rose gold one, you can see how those lines are actually embossed into that leaf. So if you have another element which goes with it, you can get perfect registration every single time. Here's my lovely flower. I'm gonna use, I do have a die pick somewhere, but I'm gonna use my lovely Sizzix tweezers, which, which doubles as a die pick, should the needs arise. And then this is some detail for the lovely tropical frond. So we'll pop those out there. And finally, the frond itself. Let's pop that with my tweezers. And there we have it. So those are the colors that we're looking at today. And I think you'll notice when we start to put these together, how that opulent cardstock, this rose gold cardstock, really brings it together and just helps it to pop. It gives it something kind of extra special. So let's take these away for one second. And now I'm gonna roll out my, this is my, Media mat, so it comes with this lovely band, and you can you you can put this away, you can roll it up, leave it in a corner, and when you open this, it comes out perfectly flat. The great thing about it is it's a non-slip surface, so whatever you put it on, it not only protects the surface beneath because it is heat resistant as well, but it doesn't move about, which which is great, which is great. So what I'm going to do now, let's take let's take my. Um, my die cuts, which I've done, and you can see the die cuts that I made because I have them here. So that is the green and the dark green and the rose gold. And I've got them all ready to go here. Now, I'm just gonna put them just over the edge like that. Cause I wanna take, I wanna take this one. And we're gonna add some details. So that's the die cut that accompanies this. And as I say, there are already some, some little marks showing you exactly where this goes. You can do this in three layers if you wish. What I'm doing as well, I'm applying some glue to my craft mat. Of course, being a silicon craft mat, it cleans up easy enough. You can usually scrape it off some of, some of the mediums, but um, if you need to, you can just, with a damp sponge or something like that, so let's see exactly where this needs to go and get it in place, and there we are. 
Perfect. Lovely. So there we are. So it's just a matter of getting all these pieces, putting them together. So you'll notice that front, that's got the three pieces. This leaf here, we've got the rose gold elements, these little leaves as well. So with, with that leaf, in fact, if I, if I just grab that die for one second there, what I'll do, I'll show you how this comes out. So you see, there's the leaf and there is the detail. And those two go together to create something like that. Now you can layer these up however you want. There is no right or wrong, but you can see as I'm putting these together now, you can see how they will build to make a lovely background because that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's take those to one side. And again, a bit more glue. So I'll put the glue to one side so that I leave my work surface completely clean. And let's take, let's take this one to start off with. So you can press that into the glue. The beauty of adding the glue to your medium mat rather than adding the glue directly to the die cuts is you don't get any splodges, you don't get any problems with the glue coming out too fast, making, making a mess, as it often can sometimes when we're a bit heavy handed, if you're like me, that is. So we're just popping those into the glue. Let's put that off to one side. So I'm building up this composition nicely. Let's take this lovely rose gold leaf next. So some people like to use spray adhesive. Some people like to use rollers. Some people like to use PVA as I do myself. I get, get a bit more control over things when I'm using the PVA. And the great thing about it is if I don't like exactly where I put it, I lift it off and I change direction. I'll just pop it somewhere else. How about something like that? Again, a bit more glue, just a scribble down there. There we are. So what I'm gonna do with it, well, I'll explain in a second actually, but uh, it's, it's a really, these, these three, these colors, I think together, just these three, make a wonderful com combination, but they also, I mean, the whole idea of, oh, let's pop, maybe, no, something like that. So when you, when you do, when you do pop them together, like, ah, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to pop this one down next. There we are. So I'll pop that there and we'll have this one coming, maybe something like that. And then finally, one more, just to fill that gap at the bottom there, we'll place this one in. So those are the three main colors. It's very tropical, it's very contemporary. And that's because of the design that, that Jen has done. It's absolutely glorious, it really is. Now, the next step, and I'll put that to one side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop this with a guillotine or a paper trimmer or even a craft knife and steel ruler, whatever your preference. Now, you see, the I've chosen actually the phrase dream. That's the one I'm choosing today. Um, I could have chosen love. I could have chosen joy. I could have chosen any one of those. And that's the good thing about these stamps is they are kind of, you know, the general, they work with all occasions. Even, even, you know, when Christmas comes around, Easter, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to mat that. What I've done, I've stamped it, I've cropped it to size, and I'm going to mat it onto a piece of the rose gold. And that's going to sit on top of my background. Now, let's go to the part where we say, here's one I made earlier, because what I've got, this is my background. Now, You'll notice that I took, I took, it's very similar to the one I've just made. I've cropped it down using a guillotine and I've actually added some of these lovely you know, sequins and beads, rose gold. And when we talk about color story, it's about the glitters, it's about the embossing powder, it's about the sequins and beads, the cardstock, the opulence, everything all put together. So it makes it easier, makes my life a lot easier. And I'm sure if you embrace it, it will make your life a lot easier too. Now these come actually in individual pots. So we've got the beads, we've got some, um, you know, we've got some matte ones, we've got some stars there. So what I like to do is put them, empty them all out and put them into the one tube because it creates that lovely kaleidoscope effect. I love that. But what I've done, as you can see, is I've added them to the front of that. And I'll just move that about 
So we can see the reason why I've used those opulence. It is rose gold. It's kind of it's got a kind of a copper vibe about it as well. Now that is going to be the basis for my card. There was one other die cut which I'm going to show you in a second as well. So let's take my phrase and I've used some of my adhesive tape which is another Sizzix product. Wonderful, wonderful product. Um, so we're going to place that. Let's try and get it. We'll do it more towards the bottom to leave a bit of room up top. And we'll place that. Having that bit of dimension, having it stand proud really makes a difference as well. Remember we talked about the pink because if you remember, this was our color palette. But the pink I wanted as an impact color, just, just standing alone. And that's what I've used to die cut my lovely flower. Um, and this flower, you can see I've die cut it from pink, from green. I've put the green pieces back inside the petals there, and you can see I've secured it with some double-sided tape. And added this time, I've got two layers of the foam because I want this to stand proud above the lovely stamped sentiment. And there, that pink, you see the difference that makes, the impact that makes, it kind of breaks everything up. That sense of dimension as well really does make a world of difference. Now, I've attached double-sided tape to the back of this as well. Um, let's just peel off that back because I'm going to reach out. And this is a piece of rose gold cardstock, which I'm going to use to mat. Actually, let's take it. We'll always, always, try, always do it the long way, not the wrong way. There we are. So that's in place. And that matting, of course, has framed the whole thing. And then finally, finally, it's just going to sit on my card. Now, you use double-sided tape, why not? But this time, I'm just going to get my glue and I'm going to scribble on the back again. And we'll place this again, equidistant from top and sides, leaving maybe a little bit more room at the base to create a lovely composition. So, that being told, I'm, I'm going to pull this back up. So. Damon Azura, when you come home tonight to collect your lovely dog, Ralph, who it's been a pleasure having, by the way, you shall be receiving this lovely card as well. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we will be continuing with, be, so check the website. There'll be lots of celebration content from some of your favorite designers. Uh, it's been really fun. I, I really hope they enjoy this card. I know I've enjoyed making it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I'll see you again soon.